Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today I am playing more Daggerfall. Uh, and I don't really know where else to go. Um, oh wait, my notes are in the wrong direction here. Where? Ah, the Queen Stag Inn. In Wayrest? The Queen. The Queen Stag Inn. Oh shit, I don't have enough gold to uh, go by ship. Where's the nearest bank? Alright. So yes, I am still waiting for a message from Brissiana as to how and when I can get the Totem of Tiber Septim, which is uh, this baby looking burrito thing right here, how I can get that from myself to uh, Uriel Septim himself. Um, and because in the past, usually I have had letters deposited into my inventory when I open up my travel menu, oh, I actually went way too far south, straight north now. Yeah, because I've had letters deposited into my inventory whenever I open up the travel menu, I'm going to try and do that, but otherwise, maybe she's at the same tavern she was at before. Which is probably a bit of a stretch. Damn it, passed it again. Here we go. Uh, excuse me, sir. I need to withdraw another 2,000 gold. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh, the queen. <laughs> It would help if I spelled the correctly. Uh, the Queen Stag Inn. There should be a tavern known as the Rat and Hedgehog. Ooh. That's one guy dead. Oh, that would explain why I was getting hit with arrows in the past, or just now. Alright, you guys are all on the floor, and have lost... F Good lord, why do you have so much stuff on you? You're only one guy. Same with you? No, pretty close. No letters or nothing, huh? Because I know in... A page dressed in the library of Sentinel hands you a letter and silently walks away. Uh, Castle Black, you are on a quest to retrieve the Totem of Tiber Septim. Do not deny it. My spies have confirmed this. The totem is not for commoners, and you cannot use it. Bring the totem to me, and I will pay you a hundred thousand gold. It is a king's ransom by any measure. You should be warned, neither Wayrest nor Daggerfall are loyal to the throne. I am the only regent of the Iliac Bay that can be trusted. The others will only use it to destroy me. Akarithi, the Queen of Sentinel. Come at once, empires at stake. Ooh. A hand grips your wrist from behind. Spinning, you open your mouth to shout for the guards. A skeletal hand stuffs a letter into your mouth. The heavily robed skeleton releases your wrist and turns away, unnoticed by other passers-by. That's kinda creepy. 
Cast all black. You will soon have the totem of Tiber Septum in your hands. It is foreseen in the stars, and I have read them. Know you this. All of mortal stature are filled with pride and greed. To give the totem to any of them is to let loose mortal vanity upon this world. They will destroy the very thing they covet. I have no earthly desires. I have no mortal pride, no petty greed. Only one such as I can wield the totem safely, for I would take it into the Aetherius and leave behind this earthly shell. So long as the totem exists, it is a danger to all on Tamriel. Bring me the totem and I will safeguard the world. I will not offer you gold or gems. I will offer you only what I can give, fame. Your reputation throughout Tamriel will soar. Lord of the Necromancers, King of the Worms. Okay. I had a feeling it was too good to be true. Hey there, flute man. Not work. Any news? The great knight has ascended to the throne and is the new lord. Long may the great knight rule over Illison Hills. Who the hell is the Great Knight? Hello, madam. Quiet. They will kill you if they see us speaking to each other. I have run into a lot of trouble. I now get no rest, for I am hunted by them day and night. They will drive me mad. You must protect me, or they will surely find me and kill me. Oh, this is... You may have been wise in saying that. Flee quickly, though, for they are probably on their way. How about you? Got any news? Ulrar Asgensen has ascended to the throne as the new Baroness. Long may she rule over Kazanset. Okay. What's this one say? Uh, the Hedgehog. Honestly, the Necromancer's suggestion here is tempting. Uh... He wants to take the totem away, and then he can safeguard the world. That is very tempting. All right, so now, ooh, a heavily cloaked figure shuffles toward you. As you prepare to defend yourself, a gnarled green hand shoots forth with a letter. Stunned, you do nothing as the figure shuffles away. Cast all black, you are not orcish. How could you possibly understand what it is like? My people are treated like barbarians, slaughtered upon sight. Is it so unusual that we respond in kind? Violence begets violence. I aspire to raise my race from the mire. I will bring them to equal standing with the other races of Tamriel. To do this, I must have the totem of Tiber Septim. I will not insult you by promises that no blood will be shed. I do swear by my crown and by my heirs that I shall not attempt to hold sway beyond the borders of Orsinium. My goal is not to conquer Tamriel, but to create the Orcish homeland. I am in possession of an artifact that I am sure you would want to possess. If It, it, it is yours if you but give me the Totem of Tiber Septim from Gortwog, Warlord and King. All right, so now I'm actually getting some letters from people who want me to give. Here we go, it is another one. A letter floats through the air towards you. Strangely, nobody else seems to notice it. You, the letter tucks itself, tucks in self into your pack. <sighs> Centuries ago, Tiber Septim ruled the land and forged an empire with great Numidium. The secret of Numidium's power lies in its heart, carried within the Mantella. It is in the heart of Tiber Septim's battle mage. It is my heart. It is my Mantella. It is my totem. It belongs to me and to none other. I have won and lost an empire. I have no desire to tamper further with mortal affairs. I have in my possession Necromancer's Amulet, one of the world's greatest artifacts. You may have it in exchange for the totem. My most loyal agent will await your arrival in Crossdale of Wayrest at the order of the hour. Hmm. Alright, so now there are four people. Here we go. Every time I hit M, I get another letter. A cheerful young woman hands you a letter and then walks away whistling. Here we go. 
If you are reading this, you must have gotten the totem and escaped from the dungeons of Castle Daggerfall. I am in Aldwich of Wayrest at the Yomsley Residence. Bring the totem there as soon as possible. Aldwich of Wayrest. So I'm in the right area at least. Okay, I can finally... Uh, was it Aldwich? Aldwich. A-L-D. There we go. It is extremely close. Was it the Yomsley residence? Okay, they're after me again. I was going to say just two, but no, I could see tiny little arrows flying at me. I didn't think that the arrows were physical or visual objects in this game. That's kind of neat. I'm going to take your money. One iron pauldron. Why does this guy have like 18 sets of armor on him? Do they just like extra stack because of how many of them I've had to deal with? I'm not going to bother searching all these guys. Well, searching deeply into all these guys. All right. This. That is like a big tomb. Shit. All right. So. I'm going to go talk to the people outside because they are the closest to me. I am looking for Lady Brissiana. Northwest of here, I think. How about you, sir? I heard O'Castell Black. I'd help you if I could. How about you? People. Somewhere, the Yomsley residence is northwest of here. I'm going to cast another heal just in case. Uh, how about. Ooh, you asked the right person. Just look for it right there. And she points to it on my map. Good lord. So, honestly, the uh, the necromancer guy makes a real strong case for him getting the totem. I mean, there's the one guy where technically the totem is supposed to be like part of his heart. I'm going to save because I haven't yet. But yes, there's the, um, where is it? Uh, this Gortwog just wants the orcs to be recognized and says he's going to only use the gigantic Numidium to protect uh, Orsinium. The Underking says, hey, uh, the, the Mantella and the Totem belong to him because he was Tiber Septim's battle mage. Um... But then, oh, that was Brissiana. Yeah, the, the Lord of the Necromancers saying that when the as long as the totem exists, it's a danger to everyone. But if I bring it to him, he will safeguard the world. That is honestly very tempting. All right. Oh, that guy's... I despise your kind. I don't have time for your type. I've heard nothing of you. Get lost. Edwistair Moorston. Uh, Wickcroft. Oh, 
Warcraft. Oh, did not realize there was a lady there. Wixley, where the hell? Where the hell is Brissiana? Maybe she's upstairs. Wow, the frame rate is... Uh, you're scary as all hell. Hawk house? Shit. You may enter. Alright, that is an exterior door. I gotta try and remember that. That is also an exterior door. Of course, the last friggin' door I check. Your emperor will be most grateful. The totem could have started a civil war in the wrong hands. Thank you, Castal. Now you must go now you must away to Nelfaga. She holds the key to the Mantella. Free the Mantella, and the emperor controls Great Numidium through the totem. The unmistakable voice of Nelfaga speaks softly in your mind. I see that the totem has found its way into the hands of someone with royal blood. I think it is time you paid me another visit here in Shadungent. Your work is not yet done. Uh, how would I help a complete stranger, especially one with your reputation? I'm a common citizen, sir. All right. Um. Should done. Damn it. Should done, gent. I have a feeling this guy is not here to say hello. Ooh. Jesus. Yeah, sure, I'll take your gold too. Nobody else? It's kind of surprising. Oh yeah, right here. Uh, let's save once more. Gotta load that dungeon up. Uh, recall myself. Well, anchor myself. Hey, level 15! Um, I want more in... You know, I want more intelligence. That's all I want. Because now that gives me 258 spell points. And now we save again. And if I remember correctly, shut up. Uh. We've got Daedroth. What's that? Uh, the real Baron's Eye apart. Was that four? Yeah. I before V is four. All right. Only crowned heads will hold the totem. True first is one who killed, but did not kill another s another. Second is one who is too devoured by its young. Third is one who made one slave and many free. Fourth and fifth are two who compete for mud. Six is one who brings a home to the homeless. Seventh is one who lords all, but does not lord at all. So... I don't know who all of these are, um, but I, I have a feeling these seven refer to the uh, the different people in competition for the totem. 
I do not know who of these seven is most worthy of the power. For too long have I let my passions make me mad. Sometimes the fate of a world hangs on the decision of one person. You have chosen who will command great Numidium. You bear the burden for the consequences. I send you now to the Mantellan Crux, the safeguarded prison of the Mantella. Look for a green jewel of unusual size. Merely touch the Mantella and it is freed. You will be transported back to my side. Um... 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 So, we have now entered the Mantellan Crux. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a... Jesus, that fucking thing keeps freaking me out. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of save scumming here. never heard that laughter before. What are you? Something down on the wall that shit. Ah, uh, levitate time. That's a doorway. Okay, so that guy that I watched play in the past, Bagel. I did... <gasps> Shit! <laughs> okay. I did remember him... I'll take the gold, why the hell not? I did remember him in an area... Cannot sleep now. No, I can. I did remember him in an area like this and getting very easily confused just alchemy shit torch does nothing okay this is a very strangely shaped yeah this symbol that's in the corner every time you go to a map inside of a dungeon is just the way of it's kind of like an overhead representation of sorts as to what the dungeon's layout is going to be. Alright, can I get back up there without levitate? And without clipping into the wall? Shit, this... Shit, shit, shit. Ah. Double shit. Okay. It wasn't so bad. I didn't actually lose almost any hit points at all. Now, I remember watching Blue Screen Jason play. And he had all kinds of trouble with climbing things. And I don't know if that was... Jesus, that's... Alright. I don't know if that was due to something out of his control or what? Oh, there's another door. 
there's a thing. A frost daedra. All right, which, all right, I think the door to my right was the one I had just come out of. Can I rest? I can rest. All right, so I'm gonna do that partially so that I am no longer flying. That was a hell of a sound. This is definitely a fantastic game. Even though, like, I've had a few issues with it. Those issues have been pretty few and far between. And so this is definitely a game that I would recommend other people play. You just have to... Be prepared. Jesus is a long elevator. You have to be prepared to uh, deal with some mechanics that are from older generations of dungeon crawls. I mean, at least you're not having to deal with the. Um, oh, here we go. At least you don't have to deal with the old. Uh, Oh, put your pointer over here and you'll turn to the left. Put it over here, you'll turn to the right, you know? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, that is a greater lich kind of a dude. God, it worked. What is this? A religious item that is magical. And a shit ton of gold. What'd you have? More gold. I am super surprised and pleased that that worked. More money and treasure? And a casket and a light on the wall? Nothing. All right, something tells me that, from what I understand, the developers came up with like a random generation system for their dungeons, and then, Jesus, and then they basically set that procedure loose on their game world. And so all the different dungeons are randomly generated with the exception of a very few and those few just have like specific set pieces like i think uh like certain dungeons are just straight unique like the different castle dungeons or um the w lord woodborne's hall the place he was hanging out because it had that weird puzzle in the beginning where you move the different sections of that spiral stairwell thing. So I think that what happened here is they just had this specific floating dungeon thing and then these different aspects got added on to it. Uh, let's save here. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to Stand down here. That is an interesting. There are enemies nearby and I cannot rest. But I can if I go and tuck myself into the corner over here. Alright. Uh, actually, I am going to float my ass up into that doorway. Uh, but wait, there is some sort of bars. Okay, there is a switch there. 
or a lever. There was another switch down here. That's also closed off. The hell's up here? switch. I'm going to go and check what's in this doorway up here just to get my feet on somewhere solid. Another elevator shaft. Okay. Well, my flight powers have just run out. Uh, so I'm going to cut the video here. And then next time we'll come back and find out what's up there and continue trying to solve this puzzle. But for now, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.